Empress Virgo of Empress Virgo Tarot back again with another reading. This time it is a romantic love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for whenever you guys happen to watch this timeless love reading and it resonates with your particular situation, then the reading is for you guys. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I appreciate all the love and the support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated. So let's get into the reading. So as I split the deck, we have the Page of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles, okay? Okay, so guys, as with any tarot reading, please take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest for someone else. If it doesn't apply, let it fly, okay? But if it does apply, give the video a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe, and consider checking out my book, Life's Not a Dress Rehearsal. It's available for purchase on all platforms, okay, guys? All right. Divine Holy Spirit, what romantic love messages do you have for my Gemini, uh -oh. <laughs> for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements, romantic love messages for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements, romantic love messages for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. the five of pentacles the king of wands the ace of swords the world card the moon card the nine of wands the seven of swords the eight, <laughs> the, eight the strength card and the ten of wands overall energy the two of wands is like should i stay or should i go two of wands it's like you know there's better out there but you're going to have to choose something. Staying, going, choosing yourself. Either way it goes. You, for some of y'all, you already feel like you've been left out in the cold by somebody. With the five of pentacles there. It's like you, try, you were trying to love someone with your whole heart. But they kept giving you their behind the kiss. That's what I'm feeling like, okay? This person, whether they be masculine or feminine, whatever. They were the king of, the, king of wands and they operated like the king of wands in all of his or her glory meaning on the positive and the negative side they're very charismatic they know how to work a room they know how to flirt and like i said they was working in any way shape in any way shape or form that they could okay uh this is one of the things that drew this drew you towards this person gemini placements or drew a person towards you take it how it resonates um, I feel like you already understood that this person wasn't kind of looking for a commitment. You were okay with that, with the Ace of Swords there. But um, they probably approached you and was like, hey, I'm not looking for a relationship. I just want somebody to kick you with. And you were like, cool, we can have fun. But little did you know, baby, that uh, they were going to come and give, <laughs> and give you the situation was going to unfold in a way that you did not expect. It was a lot of secrets that you didn't know about this person. Um, maybe they were controlling. Maybe they were dealing with other people and they were trying to hide that from you even though y'all were supposed to be like in an open, here we go again, an open situation. Y'all need to go watch that Capricorn love reading. And this kind of hurt you with the nine of wands here. It's like you've been in situations like that in the past and you thought this person was being honest with you. Turns out they were telling you the truth, but they weren't telling you the full truth. And I feel like for some of y'all, y'all, y'all really in the, in the, uh, energy of, I'm going to make a break for, I'm going to leave because this person has too many, many secrets for some of y'all. Some of them are dangerous. The secrets that they keep that you found out and you really, for some of y'all, y'all fear for your safety or have feared for your safety or someone's safety it's like maybe they be, might be doing something dangerous risky something that could get them caught up with the law peoples and you don't know if you could you can take that um them being sent away or locked away or vice versa because they could get you caught up in some stuff to where 
is either you testify against them or uh, you gonna be right where they're gonna be sitting okay like andy dufresne into who moving right along um they could be a leo or you could have leo placements um this person is like they put you through so much or you but you haven't seen anything yet if you keep dealing with this particular person this is how you sitting now or will be sitting in the future take it how it resonates it's like either you gonna turn the page and move on despite how you feel about the situation and about the person or are you gonna let them drag you down to the gutter with them you might hold on to them because of the connection the good times or what they have done for you but this person has what with the moon card and the seven of swords the person you dealing with they got some deep dark secrets that you think you know some secrets baby they hiding some stuff that baby gonna make you run for the hills you talking about maybe now but uh you're gonna be running that's the energy i feel it's very dark like uh, okay i can deal with this i can deal with that until you have a total understanding of it maybe spirit is blocking you and you're not understanding that hey I can't deal with this person. I can't deal with this situation like this. You seeing the surface level stuff, but spirit is trying to spare you. But some of y'all need to um, literally make a break for it because this person has more secrets. That seven of swords with that moon card, some stuff that you're not even ready to address with them. It's like, yeah, they dragging your energy down. They are energy vampire to you. Um, but um, you got you clearing some karma with them but let me tell you now if you keep sticking in there with them i don't know how that's gonna end for you you might it's it's gonna be more on the negative side than it will be the positive side i'll put it to you that way but disclaimer people can change but what i'm saying to you is this once some secrets come out will you be able to take it about this particular person or this particular situationship or whatever y'all got going on or whatever they got going on by themselves behind the scenes aside from your relationship you might not be able to take it i'm being honest with you because with mm -mm, with that moon card and that uh seven of swords that's too much going on it's like uh-uh maybe you need to let it go and take that TKO. I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> Divine Holy Spirit, what additional messages do you have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements? Whatever it is, it's going to take all your strength because, look, uh, look, you got the strength card, you got the seven of swords, the ten of ones, the nine of ones, the moon. Mm -mm. I mean, hey. They and they got more going on than what they tell you. Okay, it's like they telling you, oh, something ain't that serious. Something about what they do for a living, or how they make their money, or how they. <laughs> Let me put it to you this way: you know how people make connections, and you know normal people network, and people get business cards, and they decide to do business with people. But it's some strings attached to the business that they're doing with people. I'm going to put it like that. I'm going to leave it alone. If this is for you, it's for you. If it's not, chunk it, release it, and let it go. Because your intuition is going to confirm it. The moon is all about your intuition as well. Things that are hidden that you can't see, but you feel it. Okay? About this particular person. And what they got going on that's affecting your relationship. Okay? Mm, okay. Let's see here. It's like, well, y'all have a... um. <laughs> Y'all feel like this person is good for you in certain aspects, but in other aspects, they're going to get you caught up with something that you don't want to deal with, in my opinion. Okay? You can take it or leave it alone or chunk it in the garbage can and be like, she don't know what she's talking about. She don't know what she's talking about. Okay. But it's all going to come out in the wash. I'm just saying. See, some of y'all, y'all feel like y'all falling in love with this person. But let me tell you something. Are you ready to deal with all of the secrets that they have? You feel like it's safe. You feel like it's safe. But are you ready to... Hmm, they make you feel like you're the only one, main attraction. They make you feel like you can do anything with them. But, I mean, that's up to y'all. Y'all think the good outweigh the bad? Hey, 
God bless you. <laughs> they courting you. They they pull <laughs> for some of y'all that moon illusions pulling the wool over your eyes, making you think that this is some sort of fairy tale that you're gonna get your harvest and your security. But we <clears throat> y'all see that ten, that seven of swords, the moon card, the strain card, and the ten of wands. Baby, the five of pentacles. It's like, eh. You want it to be true, but is it really true or is it like you don't want to see this person for who they are? Maybe they're love bombing you. For some of y'all, y'all having a problem in, in really seeing the lies and the manipulation from the truth because you've been in a situation where someone left you out in the cold and then here comes this person coming along and they seem like a dream come true. This says clarity. Someone finally sees the answer that was always right in front of their eyes. The vision is clear. Therefore, what is is to come be, shall be clear too. You're going to get the clarity. Trust me. And it says slow down. Do y'all see that? Just because we want something so bad doesn't mean we have to rush into it. Take a moment to talk with your partner or self to reflect on what is best for you. Okay. You might want to build a future with this person, but is that wise? You might want to stay with this person after a significant amount of time, but is that wise? You might be falling in love with them. They might be courting you. They might be giving you the full court press. They might be love bumming. They might be telling you all the nice things you want to hear. But is it wise? We got the moon. We got the seven of swords, the strength card, and the ten of wands. I'm going to let you, and the nine of wands. I'm going to let you figure that out. Okay? Yo, yo. Heart might be telling you yeah, telling you yes, and you might be going back and forth in your mind on whether or not you'll stay with this person or not, but you're all you're already at a crossroads. You know something is, is off with this person. It's something off with the relationship. Maybe they got you in a third party situation, or it's something off with their business dealings, and you can't quite put your finger on it, but you know something is off. Trust your intuition in all matters. Okay. That's all I have for you. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. Share, subscribe, join our tribe, hit the notification bell. Don't forget to check out my book, Life is Not a Dress Rehearsal. It's available for purchase on all platforms. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.